So when it comes to concrete, there's pretty much one thing that we can guarantee is that at some point your concrete is going to crack. So what we have is a product called Quick Patch that will take care of any cracks, whether it be hairline cracks or anything maybe even just a little bit larger before we put our epoxy coating on our floor. Now, you don't have to repair the cracks. You could actually just install your epoxy right on top of the floor and the epoxy would settle down into any cracks or grooves that you have in the concrete and it would just become part of the overall look of the floor. But we know that most of you are going to want to go ahead and as part of your prep uh, process, go ahead and repair those cracks. So we'll use our quick patch product for that. Now as you can see, the quick patch is a two-part epoxy product. It comes in an A and a B. Uh, it comes in a one gallon kit, so there's a half a gallon of A and a half a gallon of B. And the way that we mix it is very simple. I like to use just a piece of cardboard or you can get a, a wood board or really anything to mix the product on. This is not a critical mix, meaning that we don't have to have the exact same amount of A as we do B. We want to get it real close, but it's not like mixing up any of our other epoxy products where we're looking for an exact mix ratio. This will still harden even though we're not at exactly 50-50. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll take a scoop like this and put it out on the cardboard. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll try to take what will look like about an equal amount of the B part. And as you can see, the B is a lot thicker than the A part. And so we'll put this out on our cardboard here. And as you can see, that looks to be pretty close to 50-50, but we're not concerned that it's exact. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our margin trial here and we're going to just mix this until it becomes one even color all the way through. So, we'll so what we're trying to do here is blend our A and our B component together so that we have one consistent color um, all the way through. You can see here that we've still got um, some of the A part that's not mixed, that darker gray color. So we want to go ahead and continue mixing this until we've got one solid shade of gray all the way through. So, and it's just kind of like folding dough. Just keep mixing it into each other. And you can use a number of um, different tools to do this. I'm using a, a margin trial, but you could use really any a putty knife or uh, any other type of instrument that you want in order to be able to mix this. So this now looks good. As you can see, we've got one consistent color of gray going all the way through. So that's how we know that we're actually ready to start applying the quick patch into the crack. So we'll set that tool aside for right now. Now basically, you want to use uh, a putty knife to do this. Um, you can use one like this, a metal one. Uh, you have to clean it up at the end, obviously. Uh, or you have uh, plastic uh, putty knives that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or any of your local uh, home improvement stores, and uh, that way you can just throw them away at the end of the project. Um, but what we want to basically do is take some on the putty knife and start at the end of our crack and use it with some pressure and then strike it off. Put some more in, use some pressure and strike it off. I can see right here that I'm a little bit low. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more in there and then strike it off. Now you want this quick patch to be as workable as possible. So it does start setting up after about 20 minutes or so. 
Um, it'll be workable probably for 30 to 40 minutes, but it starts really tacking up and starting to harden at about 20 minutes when it's in a mass like this on your, um, uh, on your cardboard or your board. So only mix up what you can use in about 20 minutes. So if you have just a few cracks um, like we have on this floor, um, this is probably about the right amount. But if you had a lot of cracks over a very large area, you're going to want to mix in just small batches. Uh, that way you can uh, not waste any of the product. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit more there and then strike it off nice and flat with our putty knife. So what we want to do when we strike off the quick patch from our crack, we want to try to get it as flat as we possibly can. But if you end up with little raised areas like this that's made with the edge of the putty knife, it's not the end of the world because don't forget that the next step after this is to grind our concrete floor. So when we grind the concrete floor, it's going to take care of any little raised areas like that. Now we can certainly help ourselves out by striking this off as smooth as we can get it but we're not going to be uh, too upset if we end up with a few raised areas like that. We'll take care of that once we grind over this entire surface. All right, so that's all there is to using the quick patch. It's pretty simple to do. Once again, we mixed equal parts of A and B. We blended them together on our uh, mixing uh, surface here, and then we used the putty knife to put it into the cracks. We struck it off as smooth as we could possibly get it, and then now we'll wait for it to dry. The quick patch dries dependent upon how thick we've put it into the uh, cracks, uh, but generally it'll take several hours to dry, up to six or seven hours, depending on temperatures and thickness and things like that. However, one of the advantages to using our quick patch is that we could actually, right now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and we could prime right over top of the quick patch. Now in this case, we haven't ground the concrete yet, so we're not ready, but let's say we had of uh, already ground our concrete and then we came across a crack that we didn't originally see. We can mix up a little batch of quick patch, fill the crack, and then we'd be ready to go with our uh, epoxy primer right on top of it. So just another little added bonus of using uh, quick patch. So we'll go ahead and we'll repair the other cracks uh, along the floor and then we'll be ready to grind the concrete. All right, so we just have spent some time now. We've gone around the floor and we've uh, used our quick patch and we filled in all of the cracks. We're pretty satisfied with the way that they look. Um, some of them might need a second coat depending on how uh, deep they are because what will happen sometimes is the quick patch, because it's a heavy material, if it's in a deep crack, it'll want to drop down and settle into the bottom of the crack. So after we let some time go by, probably four or five hours, we'll go around and we'll take a look at our cracks and we'll make a determination whether or not we want to do a second coat. Uh, of quick patch. But now it's time to clean up our tools. Uh, that can be done by using any type of a solvent like denatured alcohol, acetone, uh, any of those types of um, products. Now once again you do have the option of just purchasing some disposable plastic um, putty knife and that way you can just throw them away but in this case uh, we have some more expensive ones so we'll go ahead and we'll clean them up. Just as a note as well, um, if you didn't want to use a tool like this to scoop out the A and the B parts of the quick patch, you could use really anything. Uh, these happen to be some wooden shims. You could use a paint stir stick, just anything in order to scoop out the A and the B to put onto your uh, piece of cardboard or your wood where you're actually going to combine and mix the A and the B parts. So just another little tip. It'll save you from having to use an extra tool that you'll need to clean up um, at the end of the job. And then uh, we get asked a lot about storage because these are, this is a one gallon kit. It's two half gallon cans, an A and a B. Um, so especially for our contractors, 
Uh, you can purchase the quick patch, you can use it on a particular job, and as long as you seal these lids back down really tight and secure, uh, these will be good for your next project so nothing will go to waste. So that's uh, all we have on the quick patch, and now we'll come back tomorrow and we'll start grinding our floor. Thank you.